Let me ask y'all a question now. What's your nationality? Israel. What about you, bro? What's your name, man? Uh, David. David. That's a godly name. That's a powerful name in Israel. That's right. What's your nationality, David? Uh, Israel, yeah. You're Israelite? What tribe? What tribe y'all from? Uh, the first tribe. Judah. Judah. Right? You know what Judah means. Judah means you're a praise of God. Right. That's, right. That's right. Would you rather be called Judah than black? What? Yeah. Would you rather be called Judah than African American after two white men? Give me that curse. Give me Proverbs and Bible. There's a reason why we're being called outside of our godly names now. Because we broke God's laws. So this is why we go through this here. Good. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 37 yes. And thou shall become an astonishment We're an astonishment He said we shall become an astonishment Look at our people man Look at the brother over there No disrespect But look at our people Bump the hell out of their minds Astonishment read A proverb uh -huh. And a byword A proverb and a byword You become a wise saying If you want to hide something from a black man What do you do Put it, in, put it in a book. Our sisters now, or what? What? Um, what is it? What is it? Uh, Megan the Stallion did. Um, hot girls. Hot girls. Hot girls summer. And all this other nonsense. That's what we. That's that's what we are now. All all fake. You got our women now. Hey, plastic surgery and all that stuff. Makeup and all that stuff. The other nations used to do to try to look like us. Don't knock right. it till you try it. Try to look like brother, brother. Don't kid around when the word of God is coming out. Right, right. you understand? Because right. you say don't knock it till you try it, but brother, you're in the midst of all kind of craziness right now. Right, you got a spirit on you. That's why I'm here. You're right. You're here until you need to hear about the spirit. Get that in Leviticus. I'm gonna show you something. Okay. Because all of our people got spirits on, and all of us deal with a certain sin, so we don't want to make it seem like. Oh, this brother here, we see him and we think that he's the only one that got to go through anything. Yes, I don't know. His sin ain't no greater than anybody else's. Absolutely. He said he that overcomes sit on the throne with him. Exactly. Watch this here. Leviticus chapter 18, 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind uh -huh. as with womankind. It is abomination. So when the, when the law says don't lie with mankind as womankind, do you sleep with men? What is transgender though? Am I excused? Transgender. What is transgender? Explain to me what that is. Me. A man that wants to be a woman or a woman that wants to be a man. And how did God create man? Is that Ecclesiastes? Oh, okay. Right. Let me show you something. Uh huh. Let me show you something. I'm not scared. Because uh, don't be scared because we're not here to hurt. We're not here to argue. We're, not, we're just showing you what the word of God says so hopefully you can take something from it and, no. and turn your feet to his testimonies. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 29. Watch that. No. No. This only have I found, that God hath made man upright. The Most High God made man to be upright. That's oh. right. Read. But they have sought out many inventions. They have sought out many inventions, though. Transgender is an invention. Right. Because that man was born with a penis and with testicles. Right. A woman was born with a vagina and ovaries and all those different things. He didn't create that man that was born with a penis to say he's transgender now and become a woman. Their own inventions. Read it again from the top. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 29. Uh -huh. Lo, this only have I found Go ahead. that God have made man upright. God has created man to be upright. Read. But they have sought out many inventions. But they have sought out many inventions. Get Romans 1. Let's see how the Most High feels about that effeminate lifestyle, that homosexual lifestyle. Because I'm Pete right, God is not the author of confusion. He's not. He's not. So when you see a man with testicles say he's a woman, is that not confusion? That is insanity. It is insanity. May I, may I, may I? Get to the, read that, read that. Romans chapter 1 verse 24. Go ahead. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness. Go ahead. Through the lust of their own hearts. Through the lust of their own hearts is why we see this thing going on in our society today. Why we see this thing pushed it out 20 years ago. There was a shame for, for people to walk around talking about their home, they okay, kept it in the homosexuals and things. They kept it in the closet. Now, you say anything, Wendy Williams said something about 
and men need to leave our dresses alone. And they ridicule her. Yet you weren't T.I. took his daughter to make sure that she was, to make sure that she remained a virgin. And he's ridiculed. That's completely backwards our society is. That's just like Russell Wilson said he didn't want to have sex with Sierra until he got married. Right, and he's, he's looked at like he's bugged out. But he's doing the guy, what, what is wrong with that? Because that's not what the entertainment wants our people to that's show. That's the word. That's not what your enemies want our people to show. Right. That's not what your enemies want our people to do. Right. Your enemies want you to conform to what they put out in the media. Right. So that they can remain on your neck. Dude is going to get Judith fine. Watch this. Get Judith fine. This is why your enemies push sin in our communities. Because they understand this much. They know that you're the next coming. They know that the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans are next to rule this earth here. They know that. But they know there's one thing that we do that'll keep them over us. Read that. Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Go ahead. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people. He says if there any, and when you read the backstory in Judah, this is one of the, um, the enemies consulting with a Moabite, I believe. Saying, how do we deal with these peculiar people up there? These the Israelites at the time. How do we how do we get them? How can we conquer them? How can we get over them? So he's explaining to them now what to do. He says that there's what? Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, uh -huh. if there be any error in this people. He said, if there be any error in these people, any sin in these people, read. And they sin against their God. And they sin. Become homosexuals. Women wearing pants. Read. Eating your brother. Not correcting your brother. Breaking the Sabbath day. Eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. Not wearing your fringes. All these different things. If they sin against God, read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. And this shall be their what? Their ruin. So these, these dudes are planning army strategies against our people. And that same strategy is being implemented now by our enemies. That's the same strategy that they use to our people. Read. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. You shall overcome them. Why? Because that strong man is going now. We got women over there having to fight men of other nations, and it, which is impossible, and they can overcome us now because of sin, because our places are out of order. Read. But if there be no iniquity, hey, if there be what? No iniquity. They understand this much here. If they move as a wise and understanding people, if there is no sin in them, if there's no sodomites in them, if there's no drug dealers, pimps, whores within our nation, what can we do? Get out! Read. But if there be no iniquity in that nation, uh -huh. let my Lord now pass by. Say, hey, you need to leave them people alone. If they're keeping God's laws, you better leave them alone. Right. Right. Read. Let their Lord defend them. Let their what? Their Lord defend we them. We don't understand that we don't have to fight these people here. Right. Our fight is our repentance. That's right. We need to pick up a gun to fight our enemies. Right. They understand that. Gideon's army was how many people? How many people did the most I need of Gideon? 300? Yep. He said, I don't need a whole bunch of people. Why? Because I can't show my power through having a billion man army. Right. I want these people to know that God had to deal with them. And God protected them. So send me 300 men. And we're going to defeat thousands of them. Right. To show them that God is on our side. Right. So our enemies understand. I read that from the top again. But if there be no iniquity in that nation. If there's no iniquity in our nation, read. Let my Lord now pass by. Let Hey, you better leave them. Do not fight them people. Read. Let their Lord defend them. Uh huh. And their God be for them. And their God be for them. Because God is not for us when we're in the midst of sin. That's right. God is not for us when we're in the midst of sin. We must understand that. Our enemies understand that. Now it's time for the so called black, Hispanic, Native American men and women to understand that same thing. That's right. right. That's why they push that stuff in our community, man. Right. That's why they push interracial marriage. Teach. When you see a black person on TV, he has a white wife. But you see all kind of foolishness in them commercials. When they play in the midday, when the, when the woman is at home watching soap operas, watching the kids, they play all those interracial commercials and all that nonsense then to program that woman's mind. So that she can then teach all that stupid stuff to their children. So repentance is our warfare. Get that in um, Corinthians. That was it on that? Good.
But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by. Just pass by. Let their Lord defend them, God. and their God be for them, and we become a reproach before all the world. They become a reproach now. Things get flipped back around. We're the reproach now. They will then become the reproach when we start keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. And they know that's going to happen. They can't stop what we're doing now. That's right. The writing is on the wall. Right. When you see the men of the Lord come out teaching, when you see the women in the grocery store wearing a dress and a skirt and a head covered, you know that the end is coming and they know that. That's they right. Time is short. That's right. The most I only needs a remnant. He said one third of the people is going to be saved. Right. That means the mass majority out of 100, 66 is not going to do it. Right. Most I don't need those numbers though. Right. right. You need to make sure that you're part of that small number though. No. Right. Read that Corinthians. Uh, ten weapons. Second Corinthians chapter ten verse four. Right. For the weapons. Starting up the first up uh, one more verse. Though we be war in the flesh. Second Corinthians chapter ten verse three. Right. For though we walk in the flesh. He says, though we walking in the flesh, because a lot of times, mainly, these um, so-called conscience brothers. Come up and say, hey, why y'all not, why y'all not doing, why y'all not fighting? When are we going to pick up guns? Y'all just talking. That's revolution. Talking, preaching the gospel to our people is revolution. Right. This is the revolution. You can't win no war against Esau. You can't beat the white man with a gun. Right. You simple idiots. They run the police force. Right. They run the army. Right. You want to pick up a gun? How long is that going to last? Right. Till you run out of bullets like the um the Black Panther um war that went on back then. Right. They put up a valiant fight, they was, they was kicking these so behind for a while. They didn't know what to do with them eight, nine, ten brothers that was holed up in a house. In a building. They was kicking they but well, they ran out of bullets. And what they had to do? Oh shit, man, you gotta come out. You gotta come out now, you got no more bullets. They had to come out hands up. They put the woman out first. They like they ain't gonna shoot a woman first. Yeah, I don't care. Y'all gotta understand. Watch that history of our people and know what works and what doesn't work. Then read the Bible and see what God says works. Right. Read. We do not war after the flesh. He said the people that follow the Most High God do not war after the flesh. Right. There is no gun that we're going to pick up and fight our enemies. That's not what we teach. That's not what we're about. Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not caught. The weapons of our warfare here, this warfare here is for our souls. This warfare here is for our women, our children, our, our weapons are what? Mighty? But mighty! But what? Through God! But mighty! The Most High said, your repentance is mighty. There's nothing more mighty that our people can do but repent and start keeping God's laws. That's right. right. Our weapons are mighty. The strongest thing that our women can do is put on a modest dress. That's, right. That's mighty through God. Right! Any ideology that has you thinking of anything other than that you're an Israelite, you're God's chosen people, and you are above all people. You pull that down. You pull this down. White man Jesus. You pull that down. The Bible pulls that down. Read. Casting down imaginations. Imaginations. Read. And every hot thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Against the understanding of this Bible. Everything that they teach us goes against the knowledge of God. Right. Right. A marriage is 50-50. We're voting today because we want to be equal with the other nations. Right. All we want is equality. So what's the dude, uh, the dude running up? Uh, Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is going to give us equality. They, put, they know damn well we will never be equal on this earth here. Right. Either we're going to be on top and they're underneath us, or they're going to remain on top and we're going to be beneath them. We're voting for equality. How the hell can we be equal? That is a stronghold. That is a lie against the knowledge of God because God says there is no equality. Right. right. Read. And bring it into captivity. Bring it into what? Captivity. Go ahead. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. The obedience that Christ is a so-called black man because he's an Israelite. He's just like you. Right. He's just like all of us. 
so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans against the obedience of Christ. If you love me, keep my commandments, is what Christ said. Right. Not the laws are done away with because Christ died. That is against the, the knowledge of Christ. Hey. Give me Jeremiah 2. Oh. Three. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 11. Oh. And the nation changed their gods. That's the question that the Most High is asking. Has a nation changed their gods? Read. Which are yet no gods. Say, which are yet no gods. Has any other nation, let me ask you a question. When you go over to China, that idol that they worship, Buddha, does it look like the Chinese people? It does. When you worship Islam, when you go over to um, Saudi Arabia, and they go to the Middle East, they, 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 they idol looks like them, Muhammad. When you deal with the so-called white man, who's their god? Their god looks like him, right? Let me ask you a question. What does your God look like? What God do we worship today as an ignorant The so-called white man's God, right? Right. So that's, that's the question he's asking. Has the nation changed their God? Read. Well, my people have changed their God. Have the nation changed their God? Has any other nation changed their gods? Which are yet no gods. Which are yet no gods. The other nations, they keep their gods whole and their gods ain't even gods. Their gods have no power. But they stay with the God that looks like them. Read. But my people have... He says, but his people, his people, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, has done what? Have changed their glory uh -huh. for that which does not profit. Because we follow after their gods. When our God is the one true living God, yes. but we follow after theirs. God says, my people has changed that what their glory. Because our glory, our wisdom, our understanding in the sight of the nations is keeping God's laws. Right. right. And we change that day to that which is not what? For that which does not profit. It does not profit us to follow after Caesar boys here. It does not profit the so-called black. It, it has not profited us. Right. Let's say it that way. For us to follow Christianity under the guise that that is Jesus Christ. Right. How has that profited us since slavery? Because that's when we was taught that. Right. You know? right. How has Islam profited our people? Because I know, I know our people are ready to fight for Islam. How has Islam profited our people? Oh, We're still in the same condition that we are today. It does not profit us to follow any other God but the God that tells us to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. Oh, right. That's the only God that we need to follow. Right. The God that says, the sisters, y'all are beautiful. Your hair are beautiful. Right. Your, your virginity, your... Your, your, chast your chastity is worth more than just some, some nigga to say, hey, mommy, come here, let me sleep with you real quick. Right. It's worth more than that. Right. That's the God that we serve. Right. And that's the God that you should serve. That's right. Because there's profit in that. The screen black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth